hi, uh, my name is James Pung. I'm a, a systems engineer for Nutanix. I'm here to talk about uh, how to actually, uh, differences in installation of a Nutanix uh, architecture versus a traditional three-tier legacy architecture. Now with the Nutanix system itself, uh, it actually comes preloaded from the factory uh, with our Acropolis hypervisor uh, on the system itself, as well as our controller virtual machines. So if you're actually planning to run Acropolis hypervisor, it actually comes preloaded and setup time is actually pretty quick on this. Uh, you can go ahead and go ahead and rack this up into your existing environment. Uh, go ahead and connect the network cables up and then go through the setup process, which uh, then goes ahead and s uh, sets all the IP addresses up for all the hypervisors, uh, the controller virtual machines, as well as your uh, I IPMI or IMM uh, management, no, uh, management as well too. At that point, uh, you can go ahead and then uh, get the system, the cluster created, uh, go ahead and log into the cluster and then create your uh, storage pools, your containers, and uh, at that point, you're now ready to go ahead and provision virtual machines. At this point, you would then use the, uh, our Prism interface to actually go ahead and control the, um, or manage the VM creation or migration process at that point over with Acropolis hypervisor. Uh, the setup time is actually pretty quick. Uh, once everything's up and running, we're looking at uh, a couple of hours normally uh, for a Nutanix system. Uh, and we can set that up in multiple uh, with, uh, nodes in a cluster at the same time as well too. Uh, now, comparing that with your traditional three-tier architecture, uh, you would have to go ahead and get your storage networking layer, your uh, server uh, tier or team. So this would be your legacy three-tier architecture. Um, to set up the storage portion of that on your typical legacy three-tier architecture, you would then go ahead and uh, set up your storage environment. Your storage environment. So uh, be all your controllers, your all your disks, your disk shelves. Uh, get them all connected uh, into your um, storage environment, and then go ahead and cr start creating your RAID sets. Uh, so the, for your disks themselves. Then you would actually then have to manage uh, the uh, number of hot spares per disk, depending on your RAID configuration. Uh, then you would actually go ahead and start carving out LUNs out of those RAID sets as well too. And you can carve up multiple LUNs out of multiple RAID sets, or have a LUN, a single LUN that can uh, span multiple RAID sets as well, too. At that point, then you would actually then uh, need to connect it up into your storage area network, or your storage network, uh, involving a whole separate team to actually get that uh, up and running, configured, and connected. And then you would actually then interface with your server team as well, too. Now, the server team would have to go ahead and uh, install your hypervisor of choice onto your uh, server, connect your server up into the storage networking fabric as well. And then go ahead and uh, connect your, or manage the WWN creation um, and zoning for that. Then go ahead and manage uh, each individual LUN masking and LUN zoning as well too. So we don't uh, trounce on anything as well too. Uh, we're now talking about three different groups having to uh, coordinate together uh, in order to set up uh, a traditional three-tier architecture. Not to mention, if you actually have to expand, you're expanding your servers at different intervals, at different times, in uh, different capacity. You're expanding your network at different uh, intervals, different times, different capacity, and expanding your storage at different intervals, at different times, and different capacity as well, too. Well, it's Nutanix to actually, uh, to actually go ahead and expand you know, your servers and storage. Uh, just go ahead and add another node into your existing cluster and you would expand your servers and storage automatically at that point. Uh, we actually eliminate the need for a separate storage management layer itself uh, because we just use uh, your commodity ethernet layer, your top rack switch for that as well too.